This call is now being recorded. Hello everyone. Myself R R T working as assistant professor at R M D Engineering College. So in this session we will just discuss about the time domain specifications and the problem related with time domain specifications. So what is time domain specification? So basically uh the time domain specification can be classified into five types they are delay time rise time peak time peak overshoot and settling time and the corresponding notations for that is delay time it is expressed in td rise time it is expressed in tr peak time it is expressed in tp peak overshoot it is expressed in mp and settling time it is expressed in ts so now let's see what is the definition for all this time domain specifications so this is a response for an under damped system so in an under damped system the value of psi i mean the damping ratio ranges between 0 to 1 so with this we are going to just analyze what is delay time rise time peak overshoot settling time and peak time so first we will just see what is delay time so delay time is nothing but it is take time taken by the response to reach 50% of the final value so here we could see that it is the time from it starts from zero and it reaches and then the response rises once it reaches the 50% the particular time period the response when it reaches the 50% it is called as the delay time which is expressed in td next is going to be the second time domain specification is going to be the rise time so rise time is nothing but time taken by the response to reach from 0 to 100% so when it the response reaches from 0 to 100% the corresponding time period this time period is denoted as tr and next comes the peak time which is tp so this tp is nothing but the time taken by the response to reach a maximum peak so this is our maximum peak so at maximum peak what is the time period measured that measured time period is called as the peak time next we'll have a maximum peak overshoot which is denoted as mp and this mp is nothing but the time difference between the peak time i mean the peak time this is a peak time and the rise time that is the maximum difference between the rise time as well as the peak time so this is the maximum peak overshoot and at last the last time domain specification is going to be the settling time where the settling time is going to be the response where it settles down finally so this settling time can be measured for 2% of a tolerable error or a 5% of the tolerable error so these are the five time domain specifications which is delay time rise time peak time maximum peak overshoot and it is going to be the settling time so these are the formulas which has been expressed for uh, delay time so the delay time is going to be expressed as td is equal to 1 plus 0.7 psi by omega n where psi is going to be the damp where psi is going to be the damping ratio and the rise time it is going to be tr is equal to tr equal to pi minus eta by omega d so omega d is going to be the damped frequency and theta is going to be the phase angle so this psi is nothing but so psi is nothing but damping ratio psi is nothing but the damping ratio and uh, theta is going to be the phase angle theta is going to be the phase angle and omega d will be the damped omega d will be the damped frequency which is going to be damped frequency and peak time tp tp will be equal to pi by omega d
so all the rise time peak time and all will be calculated using the radian mode and next comes the definition for peak overshoot which is can be called as peak overshoot or maximum peak overshoot which is expressed in mp so mp is equal to always this peak overshoot will be expressed in percentage so percentage of peak overshoot is equal to e power of minus psi pi by root of 1 minus psi square into 100% e power of minus psi pi by square root of 1 minus psi square into 100% and the last settling time the settling time can be measured for 2% of the tolerable error and 5% of the tolerable error so for 5% of the tolerable error it is measured by ts is equal to 3 by psi omega n and for 2% it is measured as ts is equal to 4 by psi omega n so this 1 by psi omega n this 1 by psi omega n is nothing but the t so which is time constant so 1 by psi omega n is nothing but time constant t so the t is with respect to 2% can be written it as 4t and with respect to 5% it can be written it as 3t so these are the basic formulas which has been used for which has been used these are the basic formulas which has been used to analyze our uh, time domain specifications so basically the transfer function c of s by r of s is given by g of s by 1 plus g of s into h of s and the second order system is given by c of s by r of s is equal to omega n square by s square plus 2 psi omega n s plus omega n square and uh, as we have seen the rise time formula tr is equal to pi minus theta by omega d and omega d is nothing but your damped frequency which is expressed as omega n square root of 1 minus psi square and this theta rise time theta which is phase angle and this phase angle theta is equal to tan inverse of square root of 1 minus psi square by psi and already we have seen the peak time formula tp is equal to pi by omega d and maximum peak overshoot mp is equal to e power of minus psi pi by square root of 1 minus psi square so as i have told you the maximum peak overshoot should always be expressed in percentage so percentage of mp is equal to mp into 100 so as a settling time when ts is given for 2% of the tolerable error it is 4 by psi omega n for 5% of the tolerable error it is 3 by psi omega n so and uh, this is going to be the response of an underdamped system and this is going to be the laplace transform of the different types of the input so if it is going to be the input impulse response input it is laplace transform is 1 so inverse laplace transform will be 1 so if it is step input we already know step input it is going to be 1 by s so inverse laplace transform will be 1 for ramp input it is 1 by s square and inverse laplace transform will be t for parabolic it will be 1 by s cube and here it will be t square by 2 so these is called as the time domain specifications so time domain specifications are basically classified into five, five types delay time rise time peak time maximum overshoot and settling time